How many Brazil nuts can you eat in a day? And what are the symptoms of selenium toxicity? We're talking about Brazil nuts because they have a lot of selenium in them. And if you eat too much of these Brazil nuts, you can get selenium toxicity. So it's important. Now, very briefly, what is selenium? It's a nutrient. Our bodies need this. It's important. Uh, it's important for reproduction, our thyroid gland, DNA production, uh, helps our body be protected against free radicals, infections, so many other things. And according to eatright.org, adults um, need 55 micrograms per day of selenium, 60 micrograms per day if you're pregnant, 70 micrograms per day if you're breastfeeding. That's an estimate, okay? Now, you may be wondering, well, oh my gosh, let me make sure I get enough selenium. Well, the good thing is here that selenium deficiency is actually very rare in the United States and Canada. It's probably one of the reasons why you don't hear us talking about it a lot, because the truth be told is if you're eating sort of a well-balanced diet, if you're eating food, for the most part, in the United States or Canada, you're very likely not dealing with a selenium deficiency, because remember I said it's rare. However, Brazil nuts, these little guys, bless their little hearts, they have tons of selenium in them, which I think is kind of cool, but it needs, it means that we have to be very careful with them. So Brazil nuts contain very high amounts of selenium. We're talking literally 68 to 91 micrograms per nut. I told you adults only need 55 micrograms per day. So if you eat even a small amount of selenium, excuse me, Brazil nuts, it can cause you to go over the limit for uh, selenium and, sel and maybe possibly put you in the, the range and the risk of selenium toxicity, okay? Brazil nuts are actually the richest natural source of selenium. One ounce or six to eight Brazil nuts contains nearly 10 times the amount of selenium that's recommended, hence what we're talking about, okay? So, all right, well, how many can you eat? Well, I've seen sources, many sources say one to two nuts per day is something that many people may be able to do. Did you hear all those qualifiers that I used when I said one to two nuts may be what many people are able to do? Yeah, I gave you all those qualifiers because I'll be very honest with you. I'll tell you how I feel about this. Um, remember, most people are going to do just fine with their diet as long as they're eating a well-balanced diet, getting enough selenium in their diet. So if you then eat Brazil nuts on top of it, you, it may, depending on what your diet is, may push you over. Okay. It may actually, you may be pushed over with less than one to two Brazil nuts per day. Okay. So that's why the caveat, many sources say no more than one to two nuts per day. I, as a physician who is not your physician says, I would not count on that as being necessarily what you need. You may not be able to eat one to two nuts per day. You may have to eat less based on what your diet is. You see what I'm kind of saying about this? And what I would do is, I know you guys are always like, oh, she's always saying talk to your doctor. I would say talk with your doctor because there may be something about your diet or other medications or things that's going on or other underlying health conditions where your doctor may say, I don't want you eating any Brazil nuts. So this is not a one size fits all. I certainly would never eat more than two Brazil nuts per day. And I would probably not even eat Brazil nuts every day. Okay. This is just me, not your doctor. You need to talk to your doctor, but this is what I say. Okay. And this is how I feel because again, we are not all created equally. Now, let me tell you about what can happen if you eat too, well, if you eat too many Brazil nuts, which could cause selenium toxicity, but if you just get too much selenium in general, and remember there are other ways to get selenium in your body. It could be um, other dietary things that you're eating. It could be supplements that you're taking, et cetera. There are people on the Google who are saying, take selenium. Okay. Well, you can overdose and take too much of it. It's not just Brazil nuts. Okay. So um, let me pull up my list here. Okay. Uh, so, so signs of um, too much selenium. This is interesting. Garlic breath. Yeah, nobody wants garlic breath, but I think that's really interesting. So if you are taking a selenium supplement, by the way, you shouldn't be taking any supplements without your doctor's knowledge um, and discussing it with them. And you notice a garlic breath or someone said that it's possible you could have too much selenium. Uh, other symptoms, nausea, diarrhea, skin rashes, um, being irritable, a metallic taste in your mouth, uh, brittle hair or nails, loss of hair or nails, discolored teeth. Problems with your nervous system, which can be like your nerves, uh, could be your musculoskeletal system, etc. And then it's not, it's not just that, right? Extremely high intakes of selenium can actually cause major problems. Things like difficulty breathing, tremors, kidney failure, heart attacks, even heart failure. See, this is really not, it's not a joke. And I know you guys know it's not a joke, but this is why I'm cautious. Even when I say 
I'm not sure I can tell you to eat one to two Brazil nuts a day because again, it depends on your underlying conditions, your medical issues, what your diet already is, how much selenium you already have in your system. Because one to two nuts per day for some people actually might be too much. Okay. So don't be mad at me because I say talk to your doctor. Please talk to your doctor because it really is important. But please understand the risks of taking too much selenium. Okay. And eating too many Brazil nuts too often. All right. Let me know what you do. Let me know if you had a conversation about this with your doctor. Let me know if you eat Brazil nuts. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on air health expert and video creator. I do daily videos. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, etc. Sign up for my free health newsletter at drjencottle.com. Love y'all.